Hi, good morning. Blue Hill Tarot here. So this is going to be a, um, a video for the air signs in this order. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We're going to ask the question, will you hear from them? Um, will you hear from them? Today's date, it's uh, just about sunrise, October 4th, 2024. Thank you for stopping at Blue Hill Tarot. I hope you'll support my channel by liking and subscribing donating to the channel. Check me out over on Patreon. Um, I've got a beautiful channel there that's building beautifully and I uh, can use some more support over there also. All right, here we go. First uh, sun sign will be Gemini. Will you hear from them, Gemini? Gemini, will you hear from them? Will you hear from them, Gemini? Will you hear from them? Will you hear from them? First energy is a Taurus and a Sagittarius. The energy of a, uh, you know, a having a lot, but there is protection around, dealing with a lot around work. The energy of your material side is on the upswing. Uh, the Four of Pentacles says that you have a little more security around your foundation. Uh, so money is not where it should be for a Gemini, but we're not on money right now, but you're getting there. Uh, karma and fate is, uh, the stress is lightening. It's getting better. The nine of wands, the hierophant, a Taurus and an Aries. Wow. Knight of cups, relationship offers. And the hermit. Okay, so my answer to you is if you are waiting for a fire sign, uh, if you'd like to hear from a fire sign, uh, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. If you'd like to hear from a Taurus, um, um, a Virgo, a Capricorn, or a water sign, uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I do feel like there is an opportunity for them to uh, reach out. And I don't know if I said Aries, but Aries is here too. So those are the sun signs that I see that uh, look like they've got, they've had a lot on their plate. Um, I don't see any negative uh, energy flowing between you as far as if you have any consequences or circumstances. Um, so I say the path's pretty open uh, right now for you to hear for those sun, from those sun signs, Gemini. So it looks good for the weekend. If you want to hear from them, I say thumbs up. You probably will. Clear, clear, clear. Let's move on to the next sun sign, which is going to be the energy of Libra. We're going to ask, uh, will you hear from them for the Libra? Will you hear from them for the Libra energy? The sun is rising right now. It is October the 4th, 2024. This is Blue Hill Tarot. Please like and subscribe and comment. Check me out over on Patreon. I have some great videos over there that are unique. They're not on this channel. Libra. 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 Oh, that's beautiful. All right, here we go. Libra, Libra, Libra. Will you hear from them, Libra? Will you hear from them, Libra? Will you hear from them, Libra? Pisces. Uh, Libra, if you have a Pisces around, you're going to hear from them or you're connected with them. The first energy out is Pisces. So, yes, you'll hear from a Pisces or you can contact a Pisces. Uh, the energy of fire, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Yes, you will have an opportunity or you will hear from them. The Nine of Wands. The Ten of Swords. So there could be some stress between you or you could both have been very busy, have a lot on your plate. If you have a relationship, Libra, with a uh, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, or a Pisces. 
Uh, narrow your focus, Libra, around what you want with either one of those. The karma right now around this is justice. You, you're making your own karma. The Five of Cups, some of you Libras have baggage with a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, or a Pisces. The Seven of Cups is an emotional energy that's no big deal. The Unknown Variable, look at this, the Wish card. So you do want things to be better with Fire, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, and or Pisces. And then we have the energy of Earth, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Uh, so, uh, if you have an earth sign that you uh, would like to reconnect or connect with Libra, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, if you have a Pisces uh, in your life that you'd like to hear from or you're wondering if you should contact, uh, and the other energy, um, whatever else I said, uh, fire, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, all of those energies look clear. Although when you do connect with them or prior to connecting with them, you might want to narrow your focus around what it is you want from them, what it is you want to do, accomplish, or be around them. Okay, so that is the message for the Libra. We will now move to the final uh, air sign in this video series, which will be Aquarius. Uh, today is uh, sunrise at October 4th, uh, 2024. The universal energy is uh, unreal, the, the planetary astronomy and things that are happening around the universe have got the energy just popping, so it's affecting us all. Uh, so let's see, Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. Will you hear from them, Aquarius? Will you hear from them, Aquarius? Will you hear from them, Aquarius? Will you hear from them? What are the messages for Aquarius? Will you hear from them? Will you hear from them? First message, the energy of fire, uh, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, the energy of Earth, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Uh, the energy of you, maybe you or they, uh, if you have a relationship with um, uh, some ups and downs, some ebbs and flows, and it is with a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, or a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, and one or both of you has walked away or put it on the back burner, uh, they're not gone. The Seven of Cups, your emotions... The five of wands, it could be that one or both of you in that relationship with earth or fire felt a little bit cornered, trapped, controlled, you needed a break. Karma is judgment, which is a Scorpio, but it looks to me like for those of you uh, Aquarius who have uh, relationships on hold or on pause or connected with a uh, fire sign Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, and Earth sign Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or a Scorpio. Uh, decisions are in the universe being made right now, and they're not, you know, this relationship is not over. Uh, the energy of the Five of Pentacles says that there, there was some things missing from this relationship. You do need to narrow your focus around this relationship. The unknown variable is a Virgo. If you do have a relationship with a Virgo, I can tell you they're showing up as an unknown variable. I don't think they even know yet what they want to do. And the final energy is the victory card. So, wow, that's beautiful. So, let me just say, if you have the energy of a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, a Scorpio uh, energy, you can, you can overcome the difficulties that you have. And if you've just been uh, exhausted around dealing with this uh, relationship, there is an energy that says both of you need to narrow your focus around what it is that you want to accomplish or do in this relationship or be in this relationship together. All right, that's the final energy for the air signs. Uh, thank you so much, Blue Hill Tarot. 
Please subscribe, like, and comments are always welcome. Take care.